The resident's initial idea was a silver globe with a top hat on it, like a giant Christmas ornament. And so as the facilitator, I went off to LA and started talking to people to try to find somebody that could make one of these. And in general, people said, you can't do that. It'd be hard to breathe inside there. It'll, it'll fog up. It'll be impossible to see. It just really won't work. See you at five. Bye-bye. I took that word back, and uh, everybody kind of brainstormed some more. And somewhere in the process, the idea of an eyeball came up. And, uh, fine. That's the business-like way to look at it, Mr. Johnson. They described that it was a giant eyeball to be worn over the head as a mask, wearing a top hat with veins. And they said they wanted four different eyeball heads. Each iris would be a different color, and each vein pattern would be a little bit different. This is the original, one of the original eyeball heads. So this, this was originally a beach ball. This raised cornea part was a separate piece of plastic that I attached on there and blended in with clay. Uh, eventually, I cut out the center. I had a, a line indicated where this cut would be for the pupil. And that's a piece of fabric that uh, you can't see in, but the, whoever wore it could see out. And then the veins, if I remember correctly, I used some kind of thick cord uh, that I just cut and glued on and coated them with a little plastic. The interior, they have an adjustable plastic helmet thing with a little knob on the back so you can slip it on, tighten the knob, and it fits securely uh, on the head. The hat made some, some metal tabs with screws. It just bolts on to uh, the eyeball head, and that's pretty much the assembly of it. The whole eyeball thing was a godsend because the residents needed to look like something. We needed pictures. People were wanting pictures. Doesn't matter what it is, it just needs to look the same. So it's like people point and say, oh, well, that's that. I recognize that. This is marketing. This isn't like art. This is marketing. Both of them, the silver globe and the eyeball, are a reflection. The silver globe is a direct reflection, but the eyeball is a reflection in that it sends out the message that we are looking back at you. Those big eyeballs are cute. Come on. Yeah, that definitely put them on my radar. There was something so science fiction, yet kind of dapper, yet kind of comical. There's something quite blank about it, and something quite authoritative about an eyeball as well.